All right then, achievement unlocked. We've created the store and we've passed in the root reducer and we've also provided that store to the provider here, which is providing the store in turn to the app right here. So we can access the store inside the application. Now, what we need to do is connect our components to the store so we can interact with the state and get data from the state. Now, currently the state is pretty empty. It's gonna look something like this, this initial state right here. So what I'd like to do is create some dummy data on this state so that we can interact with it and retrieve that data. So I'm just gonna paste this dummy data in. It's just three objects right here, each one with an ID, a title, and a body as well. So these are gonna represent the different posts right here that we're currently getting using Axios from that REST API, that JSON server. So if we have a look after we save this in the home, component over here, we can see right here inside component did mount, we use Axios to go and grab that data from JSON placeholder. Then we set the state of this component right here so that we're storing the posts on this state. Now we don't want to do this anymore. The posts that we want to show are now stored on the state of the Redux store, this initial state right here that we pass into it. So we want to grab that data instead. So let's delete all this stuff. We don't need this inside component did mount anymore. And we don't need the state here. We're not going to be storing the state on the component anymore. Remember the whole idea of Redux is to have a central store of data that each component can reach out to and grab. So we don't need Axios anymore over here either. But what we do need to do now is connect this component to our Redux store. So how do we do that? Well, remember that second library we installed, React Redux. I said this was the glue layer and we need to import a higher order component from that library so that we can use that higher order component to connect this component with the Redux store. Sounds complex, but it's not. So let's import it first of all. We'll say import connect from React hyphen Redux. So this connect thing right here, this is actually a function and we invoke that function to bring back a higher order component. So remember when we've been using higher order components in the past, we've done something like this. We've grabbed that higher order component and we've wrapped the component inside it. We've passed the component right here as an argument into the higher order component. But like I said, connect is actually a function and that function returns a higher order component. So we have to invoke that first of all, like so. This is returning the higher order component. Then that higher order component is wrapping the home component. All right. So we've connected the component right here now to our Redux store. It's as simple as that, but it's not quite as simple as that. We still have to retrieve the data that we want from that Redux store. So I'm just gonna bring you back to this diagram that we've had a look at in the past. And remember, we've got our store here sitting in the middle. All our data is stored here. Now, if a component wants access to that store, then what we do is we take some data from the store and we map that data to the props of our component, right? We get what data we want and we map them to the props. So that's what we're gonna do now. Now we're gonna create a function to do this. And this function is gonna be called surprise, surprise, map state to props, because at the end of the day, that's what we're doing. We're taking the state and we're mapping some of that data on the state to the props of this component. So this will be an arrow function. And let's just open that up first of all. And inside here, we get access to the state of the store. So now we can grab stuff from that state and attach them to props. Now, the way we do that is by returning an object inside this function. And this object represents the different properties we want to add to the props. So for example, if I want to add a property called posts, then I can add that in. And I'm gonna say that that is equal to state.posts. So I'm taking the state of the store and I'm grabbing the posts property off that store. Because remember, we call this property posts right here and that is on the store state. Okay, so we're getting that from the state and we're applying it to a property called posts and we're gonna map that to the props. Make sense? So now what we do is we pass this inside the connect function right here so that when we connect to Redux, it knows what data we want to grab from Redux, this thing right here, and the property that we want to create on our props object, 
to apply that data to, so posts. I hope that makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is log out the props inside this component just so we can see that that posts object has been applied to the props. So let's say console.log this.props first of all to grab the props and then down here where we're saying post is equal to this.state and we're grabbing the post off the state well this no longer exists because we don't have the state here anymore in the component so instead we want to grab the posts from the props. So we say posts is equal to this dot props, like so. So let's save that and view this in the browser first of all. And you can see right here where we log the props to the console, we have that posts now. And you'll notice now the posts are the things from Redux because we've grabbed those from the props that we now receive in this component and we're cycling through those instead of the stuff that we had on the state of this component. Make sense? So again, all we're doing is importing this connect function right here. We're invoking this connect function down here and passing in this function. That returns a higher order component, which wraps our component and gives it superpowers, essentially, or rather the ability to connect to Redux. And what we're doing inside this function is taking the state right here of our Redux store and we're applying a posts property to our props and we're setting that equal to the state.posts from our Redux store. Seems complex at first, but once you get into the hang of doing this for different components over and over, it will be as easy as pie.